Joining us now is Helsinki-born classical violinist Linda Brava, formerly known as Linda Lampenius. The European tabloid press call her the blonde bombshell, and she's reported to play concerts in leather bikinis, and she's the hottest star in Finland right now. We'll be talking in a mon moment, but let's hear her play first. It's a wonderful composition called Aquamarine by Mika Toivonen. Wonderful. Linda, you weren't there wearing a leather bikini, so I take it that not all your concerts are played in leather bikinis? <laughs> no, but first of all, that wasn't classical music. That was from my uh, album where I play pop music. Um, secondly, it's not true. I have never in my whole life, I've never, never, never played classical music in a bikini or even nothing like sexy, nothing at all. <laughs> the two just don't mix, I presume. I mean, no, no, it's like two different careers mm. that are parallel. So where did the press, obviously because they like the, the, the image of you in a bikini, mm -hmm. where did they get this image from? Um, of course, I think it's from the pictures from uh, fashion shows. Because you do I'm the modeling, spokesperson, yeah. yes, for Bjorn Borg. It's underwear and swimwear. <laughs> so that's and where they got the pictures in the, uh, from the fashion show. From the catwalk. Yeah, from the catwalk. Because he sent you, down, sent you down the catwalk with it. Yeah, it, because right. the music, it's mm -hmm. pop music and it's rock music and it's you know, sort of funky. So it's very good to walk to, to that music. That's why we use it. And, mm -hmm. and of course, it's fun. You know, someone who plays the violin on the catwalk, who has done that before? That's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Most people can't do it. That's probably mm -hmm. why. Now, what about the, the origins of your career? Because you've mentioned now you do both, you do the classical mm -hmm. and the pop music. Mm -hmm. But originally I believe that you were playing in, in the Finnish orchestra, the opera orchestra. Yes, the, in the opera. Orchestra. Yes. Is that where you were spotted? Um, actually I was playing, uh, it was not the, the opera orchestra, it, it was my school, Sibelius Academy, where I played, where I studied uh, a orchestra and I was the concert master in a uh, concert uh, that was on TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. Rumor has it. Rumor has it that the cameraman focused in on you, forgot about the hey, rest of the but orchestra. If you are a concert master, you are sitting next to the conductor, and you are sitting next to if there is a soloist or something, you know. So you are in the picture all the time. Mm. But anyway, maybe they film me more mm. than they should have. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, so is that how you then develop the image that you've now created? I know there are two very separate things mm -hmm. for you, the, the classical. But where did the, the sexy image, the, the, the leather bikinis, come from? Was that just say, well, hey, I'm going to join the pop world, so let's create? something new. Of different. course you have to look like you know the videos on MTV mm. because I'm going mm. to do music like that. It's uh, it, it's really it's pop music and uh, in uh, rock music it's, and mm. as I said very funky. You can go there and wear like what you wear when you play classical music. So you have to look like that and that's like one year ago I started playing pop music. And you've got a new album. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I only have an album in mm -hmm. Finland mm -hmm. as far and um, but we are 
negotiating about. I'm sure it won't be long <laughs> yeah, before, no. before it's Europe-wide. Yeah. And what about, the, 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 I suppose, the attention that the press have paid in the past to Vanessa May is perhaps the most well-known mm -hmm. violinist who's turned pop. And like you, I like her rather, I, I believe you play both a, a Stradivarius violin, a classical violin, and also an electric violin. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you differentiate between the two, the classic and, 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 and the pop? You mean... Um, with the violin that with you the violin. use, yeah. No, I used both violins for pop music, that. yes, because this was more what, what I played there, that was like a ballad, yeah. a beautiful song, and it's not beautiful <laughs> with the, uh, electric violin, that sounds horrible if you try to play something like that, but that wasn't classical music. Yeah. Are you sensitive to the comparisons that inevitably are going to be drawn between you and Vanessa May? Um, I don't mind, she's great. <laughs> Have you I mean, met her? She, no, I haven't met her, no, yeah. I haven't met her. But you, do you think that the critics are unfair because they want to... People feel very sensitive. I mean, the traditionalists feel that classical music belongs in one uh, area and that pop music belongs in the other. How, how are you going to be able to bridge the gap and fuse it? Well, in a way, I think the music, uh, those two kinds of music, they are separate. Mm. But, you know, it's like, um, it's more like they usually say that uh, one person can't do both. And uh, I you, think... <laughs> you're right there to prove them wrong, obviously. Yeah, I think you can do both. Now, I, I also heard that you have many other talents. You're a great boxer, apparently, a racing driver. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't know. I scuba dive. <laughs> I don't know if As I'm well. great about it. So you're a true, and, uh, a true action woman. Did you ever have a time in your life where you had to choose between music and something else? No. Mm. I have always done everything that I want to do. Mm. And that's, uh, people usually ask me, how can you go on doing all these things because you do so much, aren't you tired? And uh, I think that if you're doing something that you really like, you can go on like for 12 or 14 hours mm. a day. Are you, you really ready, like are you ready for the fame? That's one thing doing it for mm. your own personal fun, but are you ready for the fame aspect? Um, yeah, I think so, you know. Uh, I think so. Are you enjoying because, it? Because, yeah, no, actually, I don't like it that much because in Finland, for example, it w went crazy. It was mm. like for one year now, they have written about me like every day. Really? Yeah, so they write if I walk to the right, if I walk to the left, you know, it's like, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I mean, there's no point. <laughs> well, it's, it's, sad, it's always said that there's nothing worse than being talked about and that's not being talked about. Uh, Oscar Wilde quote for you. Yeah. Um, the, the, one thing I wonder about is if you develop such an enormous personal identity, um, then is it possible then to go back and play in an orchestra where people, first of all, will immediately recognise mm -hmm. you? And the second thing is that they, they, you don't feel part of the team in quite the same way. I think it's possible, and I will do that someday, you know. Cause you've because left, you, you've left your orchestra, haven't you? I, I left the orchestra, yes. But actually I played, I left it last year in November, and then I played uh, as a soloist with... Uh, orchestras in Finland last spring and now I'm going to move to USA because I will be working there I have a manager there and uh, I will work with TV TV what with television because yeah, mm. you've got your own television show back in Finland isn't that right you had your own television show uh, a comedy show uh, I was in a comedy series yeah. yes I was starring now the other comparison forget Vanessa May mm -hmm. the other obvious comparison is mm -hmm. because of your beauty and, and your figure is with Baywatch's Pamela Anderson mm -hmm. now there were rumors that you were going to get a part in the show mm -hmm. have you been offered one you have to ask my manager about that because they negotiated all that, you know, we have talked about it. Yeah. But did and you want to do it? I'm not going to do that, mm -hmm. no. We have uh, another series uh, that I'm going to do. Something for yourself? Uh, it's all secret. <laughs> it's all secret. All these things that you do, mm -hmm. what actually is closest to your heart? You said, first of all, music mm -hmm. was inevitably going to be your career. Yes. But you were obviously very, very attracted to acting. And the two aren't that you close know, together, are they? Um, yeah, but you know, they are, I think, mm. because my parents are actors and my father is mm. a director, yeah. So I come from a theatre family and they have always, they have been singing to me since I was this small. And, and you've I been went playing to the music violin and they've been singing, it's perfect. Yeah, and I went to uh, music sort of kindergarten when I was two years mm. old. So music is... It's in your blood. Yeah, it's in, it's in my blood and also theatre. So. What, what about, I suppose... The inevitable is that your fans back home, we know you have a huge fan club and you have mm -hmm. your own site on the internet. Yeah. Um, what kind of a rapport have you got with your fans so far? Do you, do you, do you communicate with them? Do, you, do they write to you? 
you know, I feel so sorry about it because I didn't have any time to mm. answer anything when I was in Finland. Now I have to arrange something when I'm in, in the States mm. so that we can answer because I was going from one place to another and I didn't even think about it that I would have fans. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, 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 love no. it, no. I just thought I'd it's very it. modest, very modest. And what about just recently you've been in England playing, I, I gather, Andrew yes. Lloyd Webber spotted yes, you as well. Yes, I was working with him. What do you think of him? Is he a... Oh, it was great. Yeah. It was great working with him, a lot of fun. And it was, um, the project was very different from mm. what I had been doing before. And I love uh, to do things that I haven't done before, you mm. know. You're it's a great fun. adventurous. So she's obviously going paragliding at the weekend. <laughs> quite obvious, yeah. quite obvious. Mm. At any rate, we wish you all the luck with mm. your career. Thank you very much. Because it's obviously at the beginning, but no doubt mm. many years. And, and uh, the record, hopefully, in Europe very soon. Mm, yeah, I think so. I look forward to listening to that, mm -hmm. certainly. Good luck. Thank you. I'm thinking about the leather bikini. I'm out to buy one right now. Well, that's all on <laughs> VIP. I don't think anybody needs to see me in a leather bikini. Need a but violin. That's all on VIP for today. Join us again next time when we'll be turning the spotlight on other celebrities and newsmakers from around Europe. Yeah. Bye bye.